and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. And last time we uh, escaped from Hansen's little den with Songbird and then we decided, well, we need to pass some time before she'll give us a call. So we went to see the Perileses, I think that's how you say the name. And their whole thing is weird. They're like, the security team is kind of watching them and, and, but like, not in the good way, in the weird way. Something's going on. So we followed a van that was kind of listening in on their whole apartment to here. And uh, killed all these folks. Not massively successfully, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so, let's see what we can find here. Now, I am going to have to just do a little bit of inventory management, so do excuse me. Okay, let's lighten the load a little bit. So, yeah, it was really weird because they were just watching them the whole time. I don't know, it just seems odd, bad, doesn't it? In a really, in a really weird way to just be watching two people. I did wonder whether it was their, their son. Sorry about that, that was a little bit graphic. Um... Yeah, I did wonder whether it was their son, because or their daughter, I couldn't really tell. Because they happened to mention, oh, just uh, do what your security says and stay out of trouble. It's like, do what your security says. Hmm, I don't know. It just seems a little, um, little on the nose for me. Are they up there somewhere? Probably. Okay. Well, I don't think there's anything else that I truly desire up here. I can have a look. Oh, I'm going through this door. Sidewinder. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, it's very strange. Just weird. Very weird. Need your boys help like last time. What's this? Need your boys help like last time. Hidden user. We need unrestricted movement, but there's some excess baggage slowing us down. Can you take care of it? Dante. Double the going rate and we'll talk. Hidden user. Fine, sending you the coordinates. Take the baggage, blow it to smithereens and make it disappear. We don't want this coming back to us, understand? Dante. When I end something, it stays that way. Mm. Who is Dante? What is his deal? That is the question. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at this. Pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Hmm. Pictures, Jefferson medical records. Paralyzed. His vulnerability to neuroplasticity. It's some kind of database. Memory loss severe. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Yeah, what's that? Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Oh my god. You mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Uh-huh. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? Oh my god. So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Oh, I'll say. Fuck wow. Me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quero, Quick, Lord, download Knight, the data. Bolton, Whoever comes Bird, looking for it, that's Bird, your Bird. suspect. Shit! They're wiping the data. We've been made. Well, God no, bless it. Someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. Mm. Well, let's disconnect. Let's get out of here. Well, Johnny. Ooh, I didn't see this. I know we should probably make good our escape, but you know, just just, just out of sheer curiosity and all that jazz, you know, I've got to I've got to look, haven't I? The loot goblin within me will not allow. I will leave those two purple splotches because I don't actually know where these bodies are and. Oh, yes I do. Oh, hello! Well, sorry dude. But I'm really not. Purely because, well... You know. You did attack me first. Alright, let's... Um, can we call a vehicle? Ooh, 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 ooh. <gasps> Look at that. It's like the fire never happened. I love it. Okay, so we need to get out of here quickly. Or something like that. Okay, actually, we need to call Elizabeth, don't we? Okay, Elizabeth, hello? I'm just gonna move. V, do you have any news? Oh yeah, I got news. 
gonna want to sit down for this. Yeah. It's... It's way bigger than we thought. Yep. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds and now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait. Not on the hollow. Okay. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. All right. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Oh, lovely. Right. See you there. Okay, I'm always up for ramen. Well, as V. I like ramen, but it has to be with... I don't know whether they use rice noodles or egg noodles usually. If it's rice noodles, that's fine. Because that's gluten-free. <laughs> God, I hate getting old. Because you develop all these weird things that you never thought you'd have. Allergies and stuff. Allergies, aches, pains. Forgetting things. Becoming absolutely antisocial, like myself. <laughs> Which is weird to say, given that this is kind of. I don't know whether being a YouTuber makes you, like, social media. I don't know. Is it social media? Or just media media? Uh, I don't know. Alright. Excuse me, sir. I'm coming through here, girl. In the in the in the market, I like this market. Can we come in, please? Hello, excuse me. Yep. Easy, bloody hell! I didn't even come near you. Calm down. All right, Mrs. Perales. I like your hair. That's a nice colour. Okay. Put you down here. And your hair. That's a nice colour too. My God, all this lovely hair colour. In here? Hello? Ah, she's over here. Oh, what? I'm talking about oh, samurai tapes. We can look into that after. Will you sit? Please? Yeah, alright. Thank you for coming. Alright, so. Yeah, why are we meeting here instead of your apartment? What's going on? Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Are you behind okay. it? Okay, confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Should've met in a bar. Could've had a drink. Um, has something happened? Yeah. Wasn't that long ago we last met. Something happened since then? No. I mean, something did happen, though not recently. Uh, well... It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? At the beginning? Relax. No need to rush. Yeah. Let's order some ramen. Ah. Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. Okay. His personality, he seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie, even his musical taste changed overnight. Hmm. Okay. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. What? That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Did you notice any changes in yourself? Yeah. Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. Oh, that must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. So the whole time you knew what I could end up finding? I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment? Mm -hmm. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. Okay. I find that terrifying. Well, yeah, jeez, that would be awful. Um, have you talked to Jeff? Mentioned any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed. Said I was imagining things. Oh, damn. 
Okay. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on. Swear to God. He went on about it in such detail. I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Mm. Maybe they just wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? Yeah, that seems kind of... Because he could be remembering something that you don't remember, and you could be remembering stuff that he doesn't remember. Oh my god, okay. Uh, yeah, is it that, or is it? Is there anything else? You haven't told me the whole story Are yet, you still with you? me? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. Mm -hmm. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Uh, why don't you tell him? Yeah. Find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. Oh, okay. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? Bad dream? And then, the next day, I got a call. Oh. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. Yeah. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. Did they threaten you? They yeah. threaten you? Try to blackmail you? They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. Thing is, what if that conversation didn't actually happen? Yeah, it could be saying that... It could be you're just saying what you were programmed what to say. You're just saying v? what they programmed you to say. Are you still with me? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. Yeah. All I know is, I love my husband. And I want him to be safe, and... and happy. Or that's what they want you to know. Mm. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. What? I he just can't look. find out about this. It... it destroy him. Uh... You think he'll pick a fight he can't win? You think if I tell him everything that he'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think. I know. One thing hasn't changed. Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging. Mm. Huh. So how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. Ugh. Are you really prepared to fire them? Truly yet? prepared to fire SSI. After the threats? It'd be brave. But risky is all get out. Mm -hmm. What they're doing to us is one thing. But when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. No, that's Not weird. under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Mm -hmm. mm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. All right. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Yep. Goodbye, V. Yeah, bye, Elizabeth. I don't... Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Yep. Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? Oh, yeah. But hey, at least we know what we're up against. True. Very true. Uh... What would you have done, yeah? So... In my pants, what would you do? Yeah. Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's gotta take them down. Even by risking the Paralysis' lives? Mm. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. That's true. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Hmm. Or not. Tough choice, V. <sighs> well, thanks, Johnny. That was enlightening. And just like that, he's gone. Good grief. All right. Well, hmm. 
do we tell him or not? That's the thing. Do we tell him? I just, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look who it is. What do you want, Reed? What the hell you want, Reed? Yeah. You're a disappointment, V. Oh. To me, to Saul. We could have helped her. We, together. It was her choice, Saul. Yeah, exactly. You're helping a traitor oh. who took a potentially lethal swipe at the NUS president's life. Look, um... Hey, hey, this virtue I got right here, you gotta yeah. die. I'm sorry, just... Reed. Yeah. Made my decision. I'm doing what Not getting right. backpedal. You don't get it. It's not about you and me anymore. You two are enemies of the NUSA. Oh, well, boo -hoo. We, the FIA, we're hey, gonna find hey, you Hey, this too. virtue I got right here, you have exactly you no way to run, V. Hmm. Um... Yeah, what Wouldn't do you want? fucking called if this was over and done, Reed? Is some negotiation tactic? We're long past that, V. What do you want, I'm then? I'm saying we'll see each other soon. You, Song, and me. Get it? And I'll expect you to mend your ways then. Well, um, do you know what? Hmm. Embarrassed to invite your co-workers over? Apartment? Hmm. Do you know what? Yeah. Fuck off. Don't feel like talking to you. There it is. <laughs> Quaking in my scales, mate, I'm sure. Just coming around threatening people. Sod off. Ugh. Ain't gonna do nothing, baby. And they killed um, Aurora and her brother. So. I feel the way I feel. I might have made the wrong choice. There might be a lot of you out there going, Oh my god, Evie, why would you make such a choice? And yada yada, but it's my choice and I made it. There you go. Screw it. Uh, is it this way? Oh, well it is now. Okay, yes it was this way. Perfect, alright. Same with this, I mean... Don't get me wrong, I want to find out the ins and outs of it, but I don't want to risk their lives. Is ignorance potentially bliss? Would telling him actually solve anything? Would it Would it find the people who did this, or would it just... I don't know. Would he, I don't know, go on a bit of a a bender to try and figure out who it is and end up, I don't know, doing something stupid. I don't know, this is it. Who can say? Who can possibly say? Alright, so this way. Okay, over here. Alright, let's um, park up. This will do. Okay. Oh. Who is it this time? Yeah. What? It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. Uh, what? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Fuck. Yeah. Hmm. I just. I. Mm, I don't know. Okay. Let's let's wander on over. Look at him. Hello, V. Hello. You're right, bud. <sighs> Do I tell him or not? Well. All right. Need to talk. Yep. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth, what did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. I mean... Uh... Yeah. V? Strange as it may sound, don't got much. Yeah. 
There's got to be something. You didn't find any hard evidence? Uh, SSI was taking money from Holt. There you go. Sorry, it's all hearsay and speculation. Like what? SSI took money from all kinds of people. Holt among them. Mm -hmm. But it's a weak lead. Too weak. Nothing that can help you, Jefferson. Damn. All right. I'll handle things from here. Meaning? First, I'm gonna win this damn election. Okay. Then, I'll find the motherfucker who spied on us. And if it was Holt... I'll find every last speck of dirt on him and bury him under the heap. Well, then... Good luck. Yeah. You'll get your fee soon. You already got my gratitude. Goodbye, V. Okay. So, thoughts? Johnny? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are what? behind this. Where are you? Oh. So aliens. Just in the head. Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. Oh, now there's a thought. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who or what. Our guy's outmatched. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. He's fucked, V. I just... I don't know. That's a terrible thought though, isn't it? Rogue AIs? Imagine if it was a rogue AI that, that took him over and... Oh my god. Jesus. I'm quite curious what, what this, this park down here is though. This looks very nice. All this greenery. Very pretty. Alright, well... Okay. <sighs> I don't know, honestly. Just weird. Such a weird situation. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Beat on the brat. What's this? No. Oh. Re-establish a connection between Delamain and his... Taxis. Ugh. Hmm. The Ballad of Book Ravers. Ask the staff about the club. What's that? Huh. Okay. Well, we'll, 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 we'll have a look into that then. Yeah, what if it's like... A rogue AI that's that's trying to take over and, and, and do something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Excuse me. Thank you. Alright, here we go. folks. I know one thing, Night City is a place of of many bad things. Oh hey Jesus. Seem to be getting a little better with this with this driving malarkey, which is good. Okay, what? We've got a message or something? I'll have a look in a minute. Oh dear, somebody broke down at the side of the road. Alright, 
Cherry Blossom Market. Okay, there we go. Very nice. Oh, beautiful. We could also ask, while we're here, we could also ask about um, the... Uh, oh, that's what this is, isn't it? Ask about the samurai records. Um, what happened to Rainbow Credenza? Hey. Oh, Cadenza, excuse me. Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh, no. Another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old rainbow club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp brought them out 20 years ago. <sighs> I should put up a sign. Wow. Okay, yeah. You know anything about bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, don't know, samurai stuff? Samurai. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? <laughs> yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Okay. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him? You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. Um, what's he selling? What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Cream. Thanks. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Well, so he's up here, is he? Oh, this is him. Ah, uh, you got any laser pop in there? I'm looking for some good tunes, yeah. Heard I can get some decent tunes here. Mm -hmm. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Urdine Stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? Mm -hmm. Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, Chip you in. name it, okay. we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. Hmm. Eh. Uh, Silverhand's biggest fan, huh? See, I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't even dream of. Uh, Silverhand? <laughs> he had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Yeah. Blaze way down the rebel path. Oh. Okay. Yeah, now look it for the real deal. Like, say... Bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs? Mm -hmm. Fuck! First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gunk off the street. <sighs> hmm. Um. Yeah. Ain't a poser. Know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Mm -hmm. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Fuck this band. Not your crowd. Not your noise. Do your own thing. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. All right. I remember the gigs at Rainbow Cadenza. Ah, I used to come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? True. All right, punk. Prove it. How'd samurai's third ever gig end? Uh, 
Oh, help, Johnny. Johnny, my dear expert, help it chew out. Need a quick rundown of samurai trivia. Yep, third gig. Remember it like it was yesterday. Set my axe on fire, then smashed it on the stage. Crowd went wild. Well, can't wait all day. <sighs> Easy. Johnny lit up his axe, then smashed it. Nope. Knew it. Who smashes their gear when they're just starting out? I mean, a new one costs eddies. Johnny, I hope you're not lying to me. Johnny, please, can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running out? Yep. How am I supposed to give a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy. A blind puppy. You always freeze up like this? I'll tell Played our third oh gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed, wore a wig for a few weeks, never did get herself any tech hair. Hmm. Hang on. Now I remember. Uh, there was a uh, fire. <sighs> Poor Denny. Poor Denny's hair. <laughs> I almost forgot. Her Johnny started it, actually. Really? The sig that was still glowing. Huh, <laughs> bullshit. That sig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Well. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it. All right. So, worth a small fortune. So we can have that, can we? What else has he got in here? Uh, that's a vinyl record. It's junk. 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 A guitar pick? Oh my god, okay. Samurai sturdy stitched cargo pants. Yeah. Samurai 2020 tour t-shirt. Oh my god. I mean, I don't want the cap. Second Conflict Flight Jacket, Aviator Specs, Samurai Combat Turtleneck, Vintage Samurai Strong Weave T-Shirt. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Ah. Hmm. Nah. Sorry, Johnny. There you go. Much appreciated. Yes, very nice of you. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to Corpos. Okay. All right, Johnny. I did this for you, you know. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Yeah. Guy's your biggest fan. Not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there, just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change, them and the world. Well, uh, something must have changed, yeah. In 60 years, something must have changed. What's she doing? Oh. Know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface Ooh. plugs, new wow. high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka, same old shit, different packaging. Something's changing. Maybe we can't see it, but there's change all the same. Yeah. Sure. Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants. Well, there you go. Honestly, Johnny. Okay, fine. Disappear then. Good grief. All right. Well, there you go. I don't think Johnny's very happy. But well, nothing even in it. Okay. Well, we might as well sell off some of our junk and um. Do I know you? You don't know me. Nobody knows me. I am a ghost, sir. Oh, it's here, the junk person. Do I know you? No, you don't know me. Okay. Well, I think I will. I will um, sell off my garbage and then we will um, 
hopefully get our call from Songbird because I would quite like to know what's going on and whether we've we've got a plan as of yet. Oh, we didn't check this message. We'll check this first. Let's have a look. River! Hey, River! What's up, River? Got anything on your plate? Be nice to see you. A lot of something's on my plate right now, actually, but I'll let you know when I'm free. All right. That's not a problem, dude. We both got very, very busy lives, you know? He's being a private investigator, which I think would be such a cool job. I'd love to do that for a living. And um, and I'm just a, a merc going about my business. Yes, yeah, so we will leave it here for today. Next time we'll um, hopefully get our call from Songbird and um, progress a little further and see what is happening. So until next time, can I help you? Yes, until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>